Hi, and welcome to 5 Minute Guitar. I'm Kurt Berg, and I'm going to be your guitar teacher today. And today's lesson, we're going to go over your very first guitar lesson. So this video is for you if you've never picked up a guitar until today. In this video, I'm just going to show you how to use your guitar, how to hold your pick, get your fingers warmed up and moving and actually playing some notes, and then I'm going to teach you your first chord. So this is going to be a multi-part video series on your first several guitar lessons. So you can go through this lesson, and then tomorrow you can come back for part two and continue on through the lessons, and I'm going to get you up and running all the stuff that you need to know to get started, playing chords, and then ultimately playing songs. Once you've been through this series and you know the basics, the next step is going to be check out my 14-day chord challenge, which I'll put a link to in the description below this video. More on that later. So holding the guitar, pretty simple. Just put the little curvy part on your right leg, or if you're playing with a left-handed guitar, on your left leg. But I'm going to assume most of you are going to be right-handed here. That's about all there is to holding it, not too complicated. You're just going to want to rest your arm right here on the side of the guitar so that your hand kind of roughly lines up in the middle of this sound hole here. It's not super important, but just be generally there so that you can strum nice and smoothly. So for holding the pick, I find it easiest personally to put it like that with your left hand and then with your thumb go sideways actually to the pick or perpendicular to it and then kind of curl this finger around it a bit. So you ended up holding like that. Personally, I find this the best way to get good pick control so that you can accurately hit the strings. Then with your other fingers, just kind of close them gently. Don't have to worry about them too much because they're not that important. That's about all you need to know to get started with holding the guitar. It's gonna feel a little bit awkward at first. It's gonna feel awkward to strum, but we're gonna work through that and we're just gonna kind of get comfortable with making some notes and actually making some sounds here. All right, so let's play our first note. So all you're gonna do here is not too hard, not too soft, just kind of a medium pick. Just hit this bottom string here, which we're gonna call the first string. And that's about all there is to it. A lot of people either tend to try and pick way too hard or it's kind of aggressive and choppy and just too loud or pick really light and little so that you can't hear it. Just try and be somewhere in the middle of there of just like, it rings out, you get a sound and it's pretty easy. So, moving on, that's probably easy enough. You can spend a few minutes just, just picking this and get kind of used to the feel of it. I just find it easiest to gently rest your pinky on the guitar body. I find that makes it easier to accurately hit these strings because you've got this anchor point that kind of sets you in a position and it makes it easier to hit the different strings. So from there, just try and hit it a few times. Just get a little bit comfortable with the feel of it. Try and play a steady volume and in a steady beat. So just try that out a little bit to get the swing of it, and then we're gonna try fretting some notes. So now we're gonna get used to actually playing with our left hand and playing some notes so that your fingers can figure out where they're supposed to go and actually start playing some different notes, which eventually build into playing songs and riffs. So let's look at the left hand for a second, and what we're gonna do here is we're gonna play the fifth fret of the first string. So these are your frets, these bars going across the strings there, and we're gonna count one, two, three, four, five. So in between these two, before this bar is going to be your fifth fret. So when I'm referring to which note to play, I'm gonna say the string, which starts here, string one, two, three, four, five, and six, and then which fret? One, two, three, four, five, six, and so on. So first string, fifth fret, is gonna be this string, the lowest one, and then one, two, three, four, five. Most guitars are going to have a dot in the middle on this fifth fret here. Now the technique for this is what's gonna trip most people up at the beginning. If you do set yourself up with good fretting technique, it's gonna make everything go a lot smoother. So try and pay particular attention to this part. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is use the very tip of your finger and then place that on the string and then you're gonna to wanna to curl it so that it's mostly upright. If you look at this first section of your finger just before that first joint, you want that to be more or less facing straight out from the guitar. So tip of your finger, you can see a little bit where the guitar string has made a line in my finger. And then you're gonna to wanna to put your finger fairly close to the fret you're playing at, not right on it, but a little bit before it, and that's gonna be where it's just gonna be easiest to pick out. So be closer to this side of the fret than to that side. So right here, Tip of the finger, have it curled so it's facing straight up. 
and then you're just going to press that down, and then you just got to pick with your other string. And there you go. That's your first fretted note there. So common issues here are either you get no sound, like that, or you're getting a little bit of a buzz. So what you just want to do is just readjust your finger until you get to a position where you're getting a nice clear note. Where it's ringing out with no buzzing and it actually has a nice clear sound. What you might be doing is if you're right on the fret, you're going to get an ugly mute or a buzz. Or if you're not pressing hard enough, you're going to get a mute or a buzz. So those are kind of the biggest things. So just readjust your finger until you get a nice clear note. Okay, so then the next important part here is your thumb placement. So in general, you want to place your thumb right on the back of the neck there. So if I flip this over, you can see when I'm fretting that down, that my thumb is kind of right in the middle there, and that's going to give you the most leverage and the most support. So you're going to put that right in the middle and then have this nice and curl over. And that's going to make it the easiest to play out notes. People have a tendency to kind of bring their thumb over here, which you do tend to do more when you get better, but at the start, that's just gonna make it way harder to press it down. So keep it on that back of the neck. And then as far as your elbow goes, you can just have it tucked in there nicely, um, as opposed to trying to play way out like that, that's gonna make it harder. Just a nice, comfortable position. Okay, so from here, now I want you to try playing four times just the open string, and then four times with that first finger on the fifth fret. Just try and do it at a steady pace where all the notes are played for basically the same amount of time. Just like that. So nice and simple. Try that out a few times. It'll probably feel awkward at the start, but just trying to get the idea of what it feels like to actually fret a note and then try and do that relatively smoothly. Pause this video and play that for a few minutes, and then once you're kind of comfortable, then we're going to move on to the next notes. One thing you're probably going to notice pretty quickly is that your fingers start to hurt. That's totally normal. It just takes a few weeks for your fingers to build up some calluses on them so that they're a little bit stronger and can handle it, and then it's not going to hurt you anymore. But uh, just be aware that your fingers are probably going to be sore after today's workout. Okay, so once you've got the swing of that, then we're going to try adding in all these other fingers. The technique is exactly the same for using your other fingers. You want to make sure that you're using right on the fingertip. You want to make sure your finger's nicely curled, thumb is on the back of the neck, and you're close but not touching this fret. So what we're going to do here is then try it on the 6th, 7th, and 8th fret with your second, third, and fourth finger. So now what we're gonna try here is playing four times evenly on each of these frets. Again, starting on the fifth, then six, seven, eight. So it's gonna sound like this. Just like that. And we're just trying to get used to actually playing some notes and having something ring out. Again, watch out for your buzzing. And if you are getting buzzing or muting strings, then just readjust your finger, watch your technique, and then continue on. One last note for this, on each of these notes, just pick it down. So as in pick down in that direction. Later we'll get into picking up as well, and that'll make you able to play a lot faster, but it's a little bit harder to coordinate the two. So for now, just pick down on each note. And make sure your pick isn't too big. It's just a nice, gentle, just a little bit of a hand motion. You don't need a big, exaggerated strum, at least not yet. So try that out a few times until you're a little bit comfortable with it on that first string. And then we're going to move on to the second string using the exact same fingers and exact same frets. So that's going to sound like this. There you go, just try that out. You can play it slower than I'm playing that if you need to. Don't worry about the speed, that's not really important at this point. We're just trying to get clear ringing out notes. So play each of those four, try and pick them at more or less the same volume and have them evenly spaced out between. 
So just a steady, even rhythm as you play. And then we're going to finish off this practice by doing the same thing on that third string here. So you get the idea of playing these strings. So once again, nice and even. Make sure you're close to the fret but not on it. Using your fingertip, nicely curled. Thumb back in the middle of the neck. And then you're going to want to play one, two, three, four on each fret before moving on. And there you go, just try that out a few times. Once you get to the eighth fret here, you can go back again and start right there. And then just keep going up. And then back again. And trying to see if you can get a nice steady motion because being on that nice even rhythmic beat is what's gonna make us actually be able to play music. Half of the music is the notes and the other half is the timing. So if you can get the two together, then you're playing songs and you'll be playing nicely. All right, so now you've played some notes and your fingers are nice and warm and you've got an idea of how to actually fret different strings. So now let's get in and play your first chord. Chords are often the most exciting part for new people because songs are made of chords. And what do you think when you think of a guitarist is a guy just strumming around the campfire and switch between the different chords. And that's the sound that we all know and love from guitars. So let's go and our first chord is going to be E minor. Now the difference between chords and notes are just notes you play a single string and then chords you play multiple. And obviously the sound is incredible once you get a nicely ringing out chord. So here is going to be your E minor chord. It's the one that I just played. So to play this chord, we're going to be fretting two different fingers on different strings. So I'm going to do this string by string for you. You're going to start with the sixth string, which is this big thick one at the top there. And that's just going to be played open. So then you're going to put your second finger on the second fret of the fifth string. So six, five, four, three, two, one on the fifth string and then the second or middle finger on fret one, two. So then you're going to take your third finger here and put that below it on the second fret of the fourth string. Now the main thing you're going to notice that's different from what we were fretting down over here is that this second finger isn't going to be able to be right next to the fret. It's going to have to be more in the middle of it because you have to be able to slide this third finger in below that. That's totally fine, and that's how it's supposed to go in chords. So you're going to play these two fingers down, and then you're going to play each string individually. That's all we have to do for this chord. And then when you strum them all together, that's a full chord. So a few things to note is odds are that didn't work perfect for you. Maybe if you play that out, you get you sound something more like this, where you've got a few notes that are buzzing and not quite ringing out nicely. So the easiest way to figure out what's working and what isn't with your chords is picking them out individually. So if I pick this and on that note, I'm getting some buzzing then you got to figure out which string that is, so it's my fourth string here, and then readjust the finger on that string. Another really common thing you're going to run into is when strings don't play a sound at all, and usually that's because another finger is blocking it. So if I play this here, and I get not really much of a sound at all here, I can see that's on the third string, and then most likely what's going to be the issue is that this third finger is blocking the third string because you haven't curled your fingers up enough. That's the main reason we curl our fingers up is so that we don't block other strings when we're playing them. So what's probably happening is you've got this finger too flat and maybe it's ringing out the fourth string fine, but it's completely blocking that third string. For that, just remember your fingertip, nicely curled right there, and then you wanna play it so that 
your fourth string rings out nicely, and you get a nice clear open third string. And in the end, that's really what you're after here, is a nice chord where all of the strings ring out smoothly. And you start by trying to play all the strings individually, and once you can play them well individually, then you can try them all together. And if you get that right, you've got a nicely ringing out chord. So what I want you to do for practice on this is start, grab the chord, play each of the strings individually with this right hand, fix anything that's still buzzing or muting, and then give it a nice few strums. Try to make all your strums nice and even, not too loud, not too soft, just like our picking. And then you don't need to have a big, huge motion, just a nice, easy strum. So work on that and see if you can get everything strumming out nicely and that chord just ringing out smoothly. Now at this point, it's probably going to feel quite awkward still. This is your first lesson. Don't expect everything to feel completely natural right now. It's going to be awkward. Your fingers are probably going to start to hurt if they're not already pretty shortly after you start practicing. And it just takes a little bit to work all these kinks out and to get everything smooth and feeling nice and comfortable. Usually people take three or four days at the beginning before their chords start to feel more natural and start to ring out more clearly. So just give it a little bit of patience and it will come with practice. Once you've been through this beginner video series, make sure to check out my 14 day chord challenge in the description of this video. And that's gonna sort out all your chords and get them strumming and ringing nicely and smoothly. So with that, that's where we're gonna leave off for this lesson. If you're ready to keep moving on with lesson two, you can check out the link in the description of this video to go on with the next videos in the series. Or if you need a little bit of a break or your fingers are starting to hurt, you can come back either later today or tomorrow for lesson two of this series, which is going to be in the link in the description of this video. In the next video, we're gonna work on smoothing out this E minor chord, and then we're gonna learn a new chord, which is every beginner's favorite chord because it just sounds so beautiful and nice just in its basic form. So we're going to work on that chord and then work on switching between the two, which is how you make up songs. So check out the link in the description below this video to head to the next lesson right now. And one final note before moving on to the next video, please hit that thumbs up video and let me know what you thought of this video in the comments section below. And make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already to get all of my newest videos right as I post them and become a better guitarist. All right, with that, I will see you in the second part of this series in the link in the description below this video.